Hello my tech minions, today we will be learning how to clean up your iTunes library and cover art quickly and freely, if that's a word. So click the link down below, tunutmedia.com slash download, and it will take you to this page, and if you want to buy it, which I doubt you do, but if you do, you can buy the $30 special or the $20, or you can get it for free, which is what I did, which gives you 100 song cleanups, 50 cover art saves, and then unlimited on this too, which nobody cares about. So the other ones give you unlimited. If you have a lot of songs, you might want that. Then you will try tune up for Windows. Click that if you have Windows. And looking for a different version, it has it down at the right below the red big old box right here. You will click that, and it will give it for the Mac. And once you download it, go into your iTunes. And I just found a song that needs a. like it has no cover art right now and it will start off over here here's the tune-up media part over here on this side of the screen it um, says on your how many cleans you have left if you do the free version I got a hundred and I only have 30 cover arts available but it gives you like a list of all the um all yours that don't have any cover art and you could either save all save them all as the pictures they are for quick cover art or if you want to choose which ones have the cover art then you can easily do that um, Usher we can pick any of these three pictures of Usher and we'll just stick with the first one save it and it will appear in that one's place now and then we can just save all these to where it um, show the loading screen. It does not take that long, boom. I don't think. And then we just quickly did it and we now have not a lot left. And it will slowly just finish that. So that's about it of the cover art. The cleaning, what that does is it will drag and drop your dirty track well drag and drop your dirty tracks here clean works best if you drag up to 500 songs at once and what it does is let's see you pick a song like if you just download a CD onto your iTunes and it says like track 1, track 2, track 3, track 4, track 5 you just drag all those tracks into here and it will it will name the tracks for them like what they are and I guess it searches through through the lyrics you know you know what I'm saying don't you you got what I'm saying? And that's what that will do. And then you have your Tuniverse, which just allows you to do a bunch of stuff. It'll show my location where I live, so we don't want to click that. And concerts, you can see concerts near you, and you can share this from the last five songs you've had playing, um, songs most played, top artists in collection, and your favorite albums. And it just allows you to do a bunch of that stuff. So it's really cool if um, you download music that doesn't have pictures. Which all iTunes music has pictures, I think. To where it might mean you download it illegally. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about right now. Bye Tech Minions. I'll see you guys later. Um, if you could, could you like leave a comment down below saying what I should name my audience. Because I'm getting tired of saying... Hey, it's iPod Touch Girl 22 here. Getting tired of saying that, so leave a comment down below on what I should call my audience. Peace.